We had showers and thunderstorms this evening, mainly affecting the southern half of the viewing area. That's where we saw the heavier totals in Lafayette, nearing a half an inch. Same thing with Crawfordsville, three tenths of an inch in Frankfort, and just around a tenth up in Monticello in White County. We still have a few light showers here at this hour, staying mostly dry throughout the viewing area. A few scattered showers just south and west of Lafayette, but the heavier rain currently falling in southern Newton and Jasper County through Rensselaer, Kentland, and also just north of Earl Park and around Remington, seeing a few light sprinkles. And then there's also a little bit of scattered activity in Fulton County, just around Rochester. And we have this system that is pushing north. And because we have showers to the southern half of the state, that's why I don't want to rule out the possibility of some scattered showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder during the overnight hours. And you could see this with our high-res futurecast. The rain showers lift north, and we continue to see that chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms during the overnight hours and also to start the day tomorrow just around 7 o'clock. The storm chances unfortunately are going to linger in the forecast through Monday and then on top of that we do have that chance for severe thunderstorms for Monday evening. But after that we'll have a cold front sweep through the state and then we'll have quiet and cooler weather returning by Tuesday with afternoon highs in the 60s once again. Today we had upper 70s for afternoon highs, 77 degrees in La yet 80s down to our south and east 80 in Kokomo also 81 degrees in Rossville and into the upper 70s up to our northwestern locations temperatures have cooled off quite a bit because of the also because of the rain and also the cloud cover 64 degrees right now winds out of the east at six miles per hour visibility now down to eight miles patchy fog is also a possibility tonight 66 currently in Rossville and Kokomo also 66 in Crawfordsville a bit cooler up to our north West Rensselaer sitting at 56 degrees. Now temperatures tonight won't drop too much. We'll fall into the lower 60s, eventually falling to 60 degrees for an overnight low. We'll have lower 60s to the south and up into the 50s in our northern counties, 53 in Winnemac and then 55 degrees for an overnight low in Logansport. So another mild start to the day. We'll have temperatures in the lower 60s, still tracking that chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms rising to 74 around noon and then an afternoon high of 81 degrees. Highs will be in the lower 80s and into the upper 70s up to the north. Afternoon high of 79 degrees in Winnemac. We'll start off our high risk future cast around 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Still seeing that chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms and they will stick around throughout the day. Around the evening a brief break until we have another round moving in by Monday morning and then we continue to see those storm chances throughout the day Monday and again that possibility for some severe weather on Monday and that's because of a cold front. After that cold front sweeps through the state, much cooler air moves in 63 on Tuesday and then 64 degrees on Wednesday. Our average high is 71, so we're trending about 5 degrees below average for the middle part of the week. But tonight we'll drop to 60 degrees, patchy fog possible, and then that chance for a few light rain showers and then 81 degrees tomorrow afternoon, mostly cloudy skies with a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. Storm chance to stay in the forecast for Sunday and Monday. And as we roll into Tuesday in the middle part of the week, things will begin to dry out a bit. And then another system moves in for Friday and Saturday, bringing us another chance for a scattered shower.